A very hearty welcome to this new episode of Spill Talk 2, the program based on vocabulary enhancement. Let us now consider the second part of the confusing pairs of words starting with the P. Okay, our first pair is P E A K peak and P double E K peak. Okay, the first pair P E A K peak means uh, the point at top of a mountain, Kodumudi. Now, another uh, meaning is the point when one is best or most successful, Murdanyam. For example, when he got the gold medal, he was at the peak of his reputation. Now, we can consider the other word, P double E K. P double E K peak means look at something quickly and secretly because you should not be looking at it. For example, she looked at the audience from behind the curtains. Now, let us see our next pair. One is P E A L peel and the other is P double E L peel. Now, P E A L peel means the loud ringing noise of a bell or a loud series of sounds, etc. Maninadam, Dwani, etc. For example, she burst into peals of laughter. Now, the other word in the pair is P double E L peel. Peel means the skin of a vegetable, fruit, etc. And peel can be used also as a verb, in which case it means remove the peel or the skin of something. Okay, now we have another pair, pedal, P-E-D-A-L, pedal, and P-E-D-D-L-E, pedal. Okay, the first word, P-E-D-A-L, pedal, means part of a machine worked by the feet. For example, we often talk about the pedal of a bicycle, etc. Okay, now the other word in the pair is P E double D L E pedal, which means go from house to house selling small articles. Weed thor nadano, sadhanangal, vilpanadatu. Okay, now we have another pair, and that is peer. P double E R and the peer, P-I-E-R. Let us see the first word, peer, P-E-E-R. Peer means one equal in rank, tulian. Another meaning is a person belonging to the nobility, prabhu. Now, peer can be used also as uh, a verb. And in that case, peer means look at something closely, as if unable to see well. Okay, now the other word in the pair is P-I-E-R, peer. Peer means a structure built into the sea with one end touching land, kadal palam. Okay? Now we have another pair. One is personal, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L. And the other word is personal, P-E-R-S-O-N-N-E-L. Now, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L means private, individual, etc. So, Maya, Vyaktivaramaya, and so on. For example, don't ask me any personal questions Please. Now, personal has uh, another meaning, and that is done by the person himself. For example, when my friend uh, requested me personally to help him, I had to oblige him. Now, the other word is P E R S O N E L, personnel, means the people working in an organization or one of the armed forces, etc. Udyogastavarundam. Okay? Now we have another pair. One is perspective. P-E-R-S-P-E-C-T-I-V-E. 
P E C T I V E. The other word is prospective. P R O S P E C T I V E. Now let us see the first uh, in the pair, and that is uh, perspective. P E R S P E C T I V E. Perspective means a particular way of thinking or a particular attitude towards uh, thinking, etc. And uh, uh, that uh, means a viewpoint. Uh, for example, we should have a proper perspective about uh, things. Now, our uh, next word in the pair is prospective. Prospective means expected to become something or to do something, etc. Potential, okay. Bhavi uh, lulla. For example, we can say she is his prospective bride. Okay, with that, we come to the end of the confusing pairs of words starting with the P. This was the second part of P. So it's goodbye for the time being till we meet again at the same time, same day, next week. Thank you.